Hey there, fellow aviation enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Defense Digest channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper. This bad boy is one of the most advanced and lethal drones in the world, and I'm here to give you a detailed breakdown of its capabilities and features. So let's get started. The General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper, also known as the Predator B, is an unmanned aerial vehicle that's used primarily for surveillance and strike missions. It's developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems and has been in service since 2007. It is mainly operated by the United States Air Force and the United Kingdom Royal Air Force, but also by other countries such as France, Italy, Spain, and Australia. The MQ-9 Reaper is a true marvel of modern aviation technology. With its long endurance, high altitude capability, and versatile payload options, the Reaper is a force multiplier on the battlefield. The MQ-9 Reaper is an impressive piece of machinery, measuring about 36 feet in length with a wingspan of 66 feet. It's powered by a Honeywell TP331 turboprop engine, which gives it a top speed of around 300 miles per hour and a maximum altitude of 50,000 feet. What makes the Reaper truly special is its ability to stay airborne for up to 27 hours, allowing it to cover long distances and stay on station for extended periods of time. But what really sets the MQ-9 Reaper apart is its versatility. It can be armed with a wide range of weapons, including Hellfire missiles, GBU-12 Paveway 2 laser-guided bombs, and GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack munitions, making it a formidable strike platform. Creech Air Force Base finished the testing phase of the Guided Bomb Unit, or GBU-38, back in 2016 and began adding this Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, to its munition arsenal for continuous training and in combat earlier this week. Airmen from the 26th Weapon Squadron at Nellis Air Force Base Weapon employed away. their first GBU-38 drop from an MQ-9 Reaper launched from Creech. So the overall impact of the GBU-38 is just more versatility. Uh, and more options for the commanders and the, uh, and the air crews downrange. What we're also able to do with the GBU-38, is, since it's got a different guidance system, it's a bridge to other uh, GPS-guided weapons. The GBU-38's global positioning system allows the munition to hit its target in adverse Flash. weather and under Contact poor visibility position. conditions. There's definitely times I wish I had the GBU-38 uh, in combat prior to this. Reasons where we just can't guarantee uh, a laser weapon's going to be there, and we've been restricted because of that. The GBU-38 also has an effect on weapons load crews. So, GBU-38, 20-minute load time. 
uh, comparatively to the GPU-12, which has a 30-minute load time. So there's more extra stuff you have to do with the GPU-12 than you have to do with the 38. GPU-38 is a quicker load compared to the GPU-12. Like you said, in turn, gets the plane in the air quicker. The GPU-38 is not new to the Air Force and made its debut in the late 90s. But for the remotely piloted aircraft, this addition marks another significant step in our joint warfighter role and capabilities. The Reaper's advanced sensor suite includes radar, electro-optical infrared cameras, and other sensors, allowing it to gather real-time intelligence and provide critical situational awareness to ground forces. The MQ-9 Reaper is controlled by a ground control station that consists of a pilot and a sensor operator. The GCS communicates with the drone via satellite or line-of-sight data links. The pilot is responsible for flying the drone and launching the weapons, while the sensor operator is responsible for operating the sensors and identifying the targets. The GCS can also receive information from other sources such as satellites, manned aircraft, or ground forces. One of the key features of the MQ-9 Reaper is its versatility. It can operate in a wide range of environments, from hot deserts to cold arctic conditions, and it can adapt to different mission requirements. It's also highly modular, which means it can be configured with different payloads and equipment depending on the mission needs. The MQ-9 Reaper has been deployed in various conflicts and operations around the world, including in the Middle East, Africa, and South Asia. It has played a crucial role in counterterrorism operations, providing precision strike capabilities against high-value targets, as well as conducting surveillance and reconnaissance missions to support friendly forces. In conclusion, the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper is a cutting-edge, highly capable UAV that has revolutionized modern warfare. Its long endurance, high-altitude capability, and versatile payload options make it a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. I hope you enjoyed learning about this amazing drone. If you want to see more aviation content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.